What is up everyone and welcome to another WWE 2K18 video. This time we're going to showcase the new backstage area with a Falls Count Anywhere match. We have one huge gripe of which we will get to later. <laughs> so first, Jericho, you see the list of Jericho there but it doesn't hold the list. It isn't. It's oh, weird. No. See the new animation there coming in from Smackdown on the right hand side? Yeah, only see what happened on Smackdown, I didn't notice it on Raw. Kind of cool. They've all got their own little individual tweets. Swaggery now. He's it's got his nice uh, little. So scarf. tempted to see the new runnings here, but I wanted to see the entrance. Yeah, you've got to see Shane because Shane's done all his own mocap. Yeah. So we had to see that. So you've genuinely got Shane in the game this time. Jericho with his scarf. It's just grumpy all the way down to the ring. I and this is who you went as. I yeah, I picked Chris Jericho. We wanted someone who could uh, match Shane for like dives and stuff. Now, interestingly, you can now do match creator. And a big new plus for me, we made this match, Falls Count Anywhere, two out of three falls. We did. We did. Which, which is cool. I wish we had in this year's game. I believe you can change it to two out of three falls, Iron Man matches, finisher only match, your first to a finisher match. You can also set finishes at the start of the match, so yep. we start off with one finisher each in this one. one we start with this? Because we wanted to do, we wanted to see Shane's coast to coast. But then we wanted to straight away get to the backstage area. We didn't do a backstage brawl because it was KO. And we wanted to see all the finishes, yeah. etc. What he could do. So here is Shane's new entrance. No, it's on the floor. His money face. He is his money face. Look right there, standing on his own face. <laughs> <laughs> and that is actually Shane McMahon's mocap. Doing his little jazzy dances or whatever that is. He's loving it. I don't know where his little hand actions are out. Oh, he's got his own taunts as well, and his own. Uh, yeah. All well, his moves have been brilliant. We only see it a few times. We only see it a taunts. few times. <laughs> yep. It's us. It won't be us if we didn't do taunts. His signature is great. It really is. I don't know if we see the shooting star press no, signature. No, we don't. Don't we? I don't think we do. Ah, that's a shame. Well, that's genuinely his. We see his new coast to coast, his new signature. We decided to. also make it for the United Kingdom Championship. Uh, a Canadian and American fighting for the United Kingdom Championship. In a false count anywhere, two out of three. Seems legit. Laughing. I didn't see that at the event. I didn't see that either. There you go, referee holding it up. One of the new referees as well. Yes, yeah. So to change that up. So when we get annoyed at regular referee, we can bring new ones in. Well, regular referees well. changed, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's actually. Oh, great start there. I go into a pin. pin try I was get like, get, get out of it. And I miss. <laughs> Frustration. Pins have changed where it's harder on the first count. On the second count, it's slightly easier. And then on the third one, it's the easiest, yes. which I think is great. So it'll cut out a lot more counts at one, but also bring in a lot more at two and a half and almost three. Yeah. New coast to coast coming up. Yeah. Setting him up in position. And you say this drives into the ribs, didn't you? No, you used to do. You used to catch him just on the ribs. All right, and it's into the chest this but time. But it's, it's perfectly into the chest now. Oh, it's so much better connection on it. That neck snap back. And then watch what he does afterwards to finish it off. Just, just pulling him out of the way. So he can pin him without a rope break. Yeah. Well, that wasn't enough for a pin. So that's one of his new Checking taunts. out his taunts. Oh, I know there is it were a Kevin taunt. And then the I found that. One. And then I don't find the other one until I'm backstage, I don't think. No. That no, was another just bland an arm one. raise. Yeah. And then Chris is getting up secretly behind him. Yeah, you, you avoid that, and then oh, Cobra, Cobra. <laughs> and then we're like, let's go backstage. And then you see uh, Jericho's taunts. I decide to we'll go for a little walk after a taunt. Obviously, you can never have too many taunts. This is an optical illusion. Whilst Jericho's walking up the ramp, which is moving down. Oh my! I didn't even know it's like that. A, uh, airport. Never gonna get there. <laughs> Escalator thing. Shane will have to run twice as quick. You were panicking there, thinking you can't it get out. pop up the button, but obviously I had to wait till you were closer. And then Jericho is followed by Shane. And there we are, backstage. With a new note board, I believe. <laughs> we both lunge, both miss. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward diagonal Irish whip. We've and then already like, come through the backstage. It's like, do you want to go back? Not really. So you've got plenty of chairs set up backstage for you this time. You'll see five in a row later on. We actually try and use some of these weapons. Like We use the carry mechanics to try on the chairs and the dustbin and stuff like that. 
Yeah, so. You go to the chair. You're telling me at this point, put him on the chair. I'm pressing it. Refusing. Like, see if we can do that. See if we can do it in the dustbin. Nothing, Nothing happens. happens. And then it's like, all right, you'll have to do it on the table. There's a table over there. I wonder how much I'm going to carry it for. Is my stamina. Probably oh, my stamina's going down. A bit oh, back, okay, so it does work. And then, like that, boom, straight through a table. Yeah. But we tried it in a. I can't remember what match type we tried it in. It was like a TLC, I think. And because he hadn't had enough damage, he reversed it. Right. Oh, man. You can't do it until ladders on TLC matches. We found that. When um, the ladders on the floor, you couldn't do it. Did we even try it? I thought yeah, we always, I thought I they always it stopped twice. it. No, I tried it twice. Ah, right, okay. It, which were a big disappointment there. That's a shame. You can probably do it if they're set up in the corner. Like yeah. a power, like a buckle bump sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. It'll just take some experimenting around with this new uh, grapple. Yeah. Test what we can and can't use it on. So this area, like, we know what's happening around here. Yeah. This is just basically a continuation from the previous game. Free, but they have brought in three new areas. They have. What did I even crash in? <laughs> There's a door for everything. At this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have a little explore. <laughs> I think, do I get a cheeky kick in this moment? Oh, no, I just get you up, see so your uh, throw is down there. Yeah. And I was like, mm, I'm going to go in the locker room. Now, has anything changed? This is not without its problems, which uh, we'll get to probably in about five minutes' time. <laughs> this was brutal. Shin. I'm just oh, running hi. in there. Goodbye. <laughs> I haven't finished looking around yet, Shane. Sulky Jericho back again. Looking for the first fall. We didn't have our button press mode. Uh, no, we, we had, had this thing. Back to this the one. first time we pulled up one of these, it was well panicky. <laughs> Look at the tactics involved here. Because we were we trying oh. not to end the match right now. Was it two or three? Yeah, I think I forgot that at this point though. Chair. Clonk. That made a nice sound actually. So this is identical to the last game. This yeah, that's locker room. Uh, I was just testing to see if there's a new animation here, so I think I'll get a signature in. Here we are, new finisher. Look there. Look boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam. That was amazing when I first hit that. And it's then... a really funny one later on, actually. It doesn't quite work. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I just have to wait for my stamina, which takes forever to get back. And then... There we go. And it's unfortunately the same move, but I don't know what else you can really do with a table. Uh, a TV. <laughs> And then I believe we've got another little uh, journey. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's uh, behind that desk, I believe. Now, if you'd have pinned me the ref would have come in here, for some reason he likes to lurk in the hallways. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's what happened. Then I, uh, I sort of snap at this point. <clears throat> I think I reversed them, and uh, it all goes a little bit pear shaped for uh, Chris Jericho. Oh, no, you try and put me through that table, don't you? I can't remember now. This yeah. is all foreign to me. I, I think thought you we left try and put me through the table. And then I reverse it. And then I try and put you through the table, but you just keep oh, bouncing oh. off it for some reason. Oh, I... And so I throw you in the locker room, and then I wander off into uh, the authority's office. Or am I just making this up? I have no idea. Is this just a dream? <laughs> I think you were aiming at the table there, and you went over there yeah, for some reason. That's what I was. think you were like, how did he gone over there? And then I've tried to do a, oh my god, in the thing, and he, for some reason, falls off it. Like, and you ah, leave, damn it. I was like, right, I'm going. After a taunt. Not obviously. before you wipe your feet before leaving. Yeah. I was like, where are you going? And so I check out the next room. Which it takes we, forever for me to get up. We've all seen the next room. We know what it looks like. I don't think we stay that long. I think we do a little lap and a walk out. Yeah, you see uh, Stephanie, I believe, in a different yeah. attire. Which was weird actually, we came in, we did another one with Triple H, which we didn't record. And uh, I swear she reacts to Triple H differently to how she did to Jericho. Like she oh, actually knew him. I find a new taunt. That's the taunt, yeah. Checking his That's the one I want in at the start. And then I see him, I was like, bye. <laughs> this is a new area we're about to go into. And there you go, Jericho enters it. And you see the mega truck of oh, doom. I can't remember where we go to first. The camera's changed about 14 times for some reason. I'm trying to chase after you, but I run out of stamina, so I just decided to And then to I go, come on! <laughs> and I'm like, alright, I'll bring uh, it oh, oh, no. I have to stop again now. <laughs> and then I just leg it off up the truck. And you see these blue boxes at the bottom? You can actually move them around. I yep. can't move Oh, we do do it in this match. You can push them into people, and you can set them up so you can jump off them. Jericho there, just telling everyone he's a genius that he is. <laughs> Look at Behold that. my kingdom! And Shane decides to follow him. And Jericho had a nasty little plan here set up. Yeah, he did. I think I get a taunt in, I believe, here. Yep. Although we're obsessed by this taunt at that point. 
And I'm just waiting patiently for Shane, and it's like, nope, see you bye. And it's like, no, no, Shane, and it catches, catches the box. <laughs> and then Jericho's a <laughs> lunatic. No. And just if he's not finished there, he's got more for Shane McMahon as well. He has. Do I drag him around now? I can't rotate you next. Do we go around the here? Uh, how is this? Or it do we might be the, the car rotate you to. I think I'll take you to the car. Yeah, this has got quite a cool animation attached to it. Bounce into it there because I've just got a bit too close. You have to be really careful where you go. So Notice drags. the long drag there from all the way from the truck to the <laughs> car. No, that wouldn't have been uh, possible in the former game. I can obviously tap circle, but I just wanted to see what would go down if you got to the uh, front of the bonnet on the car. Yeah, yeah, we were just sort of testing all the limits and stuff. And there's your oh my god moment popping up. This is where we go for the first pinfall as well. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> Doesn't go to plan though for Mr. Jericho backstage. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Horrible stuff. <laughs> And Jericho's like, well, I'm 1 0 up. Like, How yeah, can I'm I not pin be? it? I'm, I'm pin 1 0 up. 1, 2, 3. Um, ref, where are you? Ref, ref. And we're like, he obviously must be running. No, no. Ref, where are you? I was like, we need to research this. Where, where is, is, is he? Where's he gone? There's a referee. Well, he's not in uh, our immediacy conference here. No, oh, let's just walk over to the doorway. Is oh, oh, you're there, is ref. Oh, you're there. I'll go pin him. I'll go pin him. Come quick, quick. Get down, like, oh, like, get down, Shane. Like, get down, Shane. it. Pin him, right, pin him. Right, come on, ref. Make your way into the uh, car lot. One, two, three. <laughs> ref, again, where are you, ref? Hello? And Jericho at this point was pretty pissed. I was like, where are you? <laughs> he had a really angry face on him as well, which just uh, escalated the problem. No stammer as well, which didn't help. Like, where the hell's he gone? Oh, he's and there! And still, he's stuck in this doorway and he can't get past it, so any pin attempt out here is just futile. Which is fine for a backstage brawl because you can Brutal. get a KO victory. DDT on the floor, Jericho busted open. And now we see the ice box. It's like, I wonder what we can do there. Oh, Shame yeah, yeah, the ice box was a big moment for us. Ready to birdie! <laughs> Another signature by Shane McMahon. I actually think, you know them racks next to the ice box? You can climb up them. And I think it's a similar animation to the Elimination Chamber. Yeah. So now I'm going for the ice. I'm thinking, what animation are we going to get gonna here? Got... in there. Is Buggy Man going to pop out? So already I'm annoyed because you bounced off it. You didn't hang on it. It's like, all right, maybe we have to drag him to it. So we drag you onto it. Nothing happens. I'm trying to get a bearing. There you go. Just into it again. I'm like, okay, I don't think you can actually do anything with this. I press L1 there, and it climbs this, which is pretty neat. It's a pretty cool animation for Shane, actually. So this is the new dives off things. Elbow! It's a pretty sweet animation for Shane. And I go up again, I believe, and then I wait to see what animation it is when you're standing yeah, up. Yeah, I think you're right. So I'm like, it says L1 there for the ice, but you just... Basically, yeah, I wonder if the ice rolling. is there to draw your eye to it, just so you can climb this little rack. Maybe. So I'm waiting for Jericho to get up at this point. Jericho's waiting to get up himself. And I see one animation, and it's like a splash, but totally balls it up. Miss it, and then we see the window, and it's like, can you get smashed with the window? Yeah. Sometimes, actually, in the false kind of it. No, sorry, backstage brawl. There's some dudes actually in the yellow t-shirts, yeah. like security, <laughs> yeah. and they're actually in there looking out the window. Just praying that you don't smash their glass. There's all the chairs. There's the five chairs you can pick up. Might even be more. I tried to put it on your head so then I could Whoa. dive on him, but it wouldn't work. So instead I decided to just whack you like Chris Jericho would. And then Jericho decides to climb up for himself. This time Shane McMahon's back is uh, facing up, so it might be a different animation. Oh, and it's an it's elbow right, Ooh. right to the head. Ooh. Jericho hurts himself just as much as he hurts Shane McMahon there. And they're just yeah, flying down at this point. Down. Jericho gets up. I can't remember where I go next. So then we decide. I think it's the forklift truck. Yeah, we are aware there's a forklift truck in the corner, which we definitely see. There's also an ambulance, but we couldn't work out quite what to do. Oh, yeah. This that is, was the moment yeah. I messed up on the signature. I was out of range. I was like, oh, pin him again. Wait, no. And guess what? The referee, nowhere to be seen. Hopefully, this is patched in. But you never know. Never know. 
And I saw this button, I was like, oh, what can you do that? Oh, no, you get stuck with a blue box. Do I? Yeah, you go mad with it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Because I wanted to see if you could whack you with it. Because I think it was Tom Cushion said that you could push it. And I was like, I wonder if you can whack him with it. Yeah, so you realise how you can move it around. And then you press X. Ooh. If you press X... It's square to whack him. It's square. Oh, it's pushing it forward, yeah. All right. As I get it, and then I press it, and then it goes in a mad spinning. Oh, so maybe animation. there's two different things then. Maybe X yeah. and square are two, two different things. And then I thought, oh, maybe I can uh, jump on him. Instead, I just squat here <laughs> for about a week. Decided it's out of your range, that. You can climb on the box. I think we saw that before. And then I try and trap you in the corner with it. <laughs> and then push him against the wall. It's like building a little fort around Shane McMahon. This is and it. And then I go, no. You, then you somehow get it back and proper spin it around. I let go of it at one point. I press a button. I just whack it into the wall like that, and it goes. Do 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 do. And then you try and climb up on the car, but don't let you. Yeah, I thought we'd be able to do a grapple on top of the car. So I just squat and for I'm a just week. like, just jump, guys, <gasps> just jump. And then oh you no! Slap him in the face. I slap him in the face. Rude. This might be when we decide to use the truck. No, I do oh, the car animation. You, yeah, this is where he smashes the shoulder into the door. Don't ruin it. I've ruined it. I do what I want. A lot of them you have to drag them onto. Irish whip doesn't always work. Yeah, and if they hold on to it like that, you know you're in their business for an animation. I think you have to just be more patient this than This would anything. disappoint him. I was eating some in the shoulder. Perfect opportunity to get a head damage. Oh. I guess that's not allowed. Probably, yeah. Uh, Kill him. And then now I believe we go for the forklift area. I'm just getting some distance. I'm like, I've already won this match. What you can do as well, which we haven't shown here, is if you go to the back of the limo, you can open it and you pull yeah. out a weapon. Yeah, yeah. So the limo's uh, trunk, that opens up, and um, you get a kendo stick yeah. out of it. I don't know if it randomises it, but yeah, when we tried it, it was a kendo stick. So I go for the forklift truck here. We weren't exactly sure how to use it. Now, you have to be a specific person again to use this, so yeah. you'll climb on it, but you won't be able to dive off it. Yeah, anyone unless... can put it up and stand on it. Like, you can probably have bronze standing on but it. But not it's... everyone can dive off it. So it's just a little safe spot. <laughs> and there you go, double axe handle. And then Jerry goes down. back up on it. You have to bring it down. <laughs> Oh, it's down, right? Going back up again. I wonder if when you're up on it, Jericho can go to the controls and bring it down. Oh, yeah. So you'll have to try all this out. And then I was disappointed because you started getting up and I didn't see that. And then I believe Jericho shows him how it's done. <laughs> Start doing the signature again. What oh, do you climb up on the truck, actually, I think, next? Oh yeah, I wanted to see if Shane could dive. And it out because it's at the bottom of the ladder, I think. Yeah. Wow. At one point, as well, when we played a backstage ball, I was up there and uh, you were on the top of the crate and the game had to bring you down because it couldn't comprehend what madness that could occur yeah, yeah, with yeah. someone jumping from the top of the crate to someone standing on the pallet. <laughs> that would have been insane. I think at this point I try and set you up for that box. Yeah, I believe you do actually. I'm like, back. And I miss <gasps> it entirely. But you hit the corn. Yeah, I hit the corn. <laughs> and then the dive works this time. <coughs> Fist drop. At this point, I think we uh, we know that we've done everything we can backstage. Yeah. We sort of did. Well, we, that we think we can do. Some stuff doesn't seem to work. Some stuff we're not sure about. Yeah, I check the referee just to make sure he's not working yeah, in cahoots yeah. with Shane. I thought we were, yeah, sold out. But, no. But yeah, there's several other cars you can power bomb through the windows. There's an ambulance, which I'm guessing has a purpose, but I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, we tried to wire whip onto your ambulance doors. We then dragged onto your ambulance doors, and nothing happened. They just bounced off them. But I wonder if it's specific people again. I wonder if it's like, Shane can't do that, but Braun might be able to do something with it. I don't know. It didn't seem like it. It looked like it was shield tank. I think you see it just to the side of Shane. I don't know if we show yeah, it. So yeah, so there's the ambulance. Which, the way it's positioned, you think something's going on there. Referee with the invisible wall, which you can't get past. I decide I'm going to get one of these blue boxes. <laughs> decide not that one, because I can't get around to it. Do we see the referee's head full, or is that another video? There's one that gets a proper bald spot. <laughs> Takes up like half of the uh, camera shot. Okay, I decide I'm going to try and take a box to you. And then I discover there's a whole other area around yeah. here. Yeah, well, it's... But yeah. it's pretty limited. Then I get stuck at the door. <laughs> Still dragging it. I see a vending machine. I also see a door over here, which I'm like, ooh, new area? No. It's just a door. 
There is ladders and tables and stuff in that bit that you can use. Jericho tries to punch the referee. I did, because he... Uh... I couldn't find a way in which to pick that ladder up, so I don't know why it was there, to be honest. Then you see catering, and I'm like, oh, there's going to be so much here, <laughs> which you can do. But unfortunately... I tried that door as well. I know. Unfortunately, though, back here, limited. Limited. We try and drag, and we try and out. This we... is frustrating as well, because the camera changes right on The camera right changes on, on the vending machine. So he's like, oh, I'm going to drag you onto it. Nope, camera's changed. And you go, so oh, I'm like, going to oh, get it this time. It's like, camera's oh, going to no, change. Camera's changed. And then <laughs> oh, camera's changed. Oh, camera's changed. <laughs> oh, so I give up. Into the corner and then I'm like right we'll go over to the condiments I get my head stuck in a tin at one and then point you go, I'm like you're on it you're on it and then you get off it I think you can try it a second time and I get my head stuck in a tin I try and do a powerbomb thing onto him is that what it is but it doesn't work he just does that a wasteland a wasteland so I try again one final time there we go his head gets stuck in a hot plate <laughs> I grapple, but it doesn't do anything, so I don't think you can do anything over there, guys. No, it's, it's just a new area with not much going on. We need on. more time to test it out, but uh, it did seem limited <gasps> there. I try and get the perfect angle to the vending machine, almost pull it off. Hit a dustbin instead. And this time we have to work together, so we can yeah. actually try the vending Little machine. Team, uh, wait till you see what it does, my god. So you have to set yourself up here, <laughs> just to uh, get like, the angle. Oh, right, I'll do it. So I'm like, right, I've got the angle, god damn it, I haven't got the angle. There we go, right, we can set it up. What does get it do? Ready for this. It smashes a bit. <laughs> I get a close up of Shane here. Oh, you go mad with Shane here. You try to get him right. I try to get a really close, like, face shot of Shane McMahon, but I couldn't get it perfectly spot on. Can work out where the camera will focus from. Yeah, well, here, we go, there, here we go. Here we go. He drifts it on and off camera. <laughs> Hello. He's like, oh, he's gone. Hello. And then I decide to run away, I think. Yeah, to the green screen. <laughs> but along the way, we find two other rooms. And there's two other tables which you can't do anything on. Chairs there as well. Yeah, it looks like a makeup table and a costume table. Which yeah, is cool that they put in, I suppose. Just a, a little bit of added detail. So Jericho building up on that blood damage now. Try to get a nice DDT. I was hoping we might see something different, but unfortunately not. Yeah, so we're thinking, what can we do on the table? What can we put his hand in this, like... Uh... Is he going to throw little needles at him? Yeah, yeah. Nah, he just whacks his head in it. Yeah, and he just bounces off like that. And then you go, Ew. oh, I thought you did your signature actually there. Thought I'd try again. Oh no, I gave up at that point. I was like, it's something. No, there's two other doors here. So you've got locker room B. Which I'm guessing is the women's locker room. Maybe so. If we've got, I don't know, if there's a men's one down there, maybe. Or if it's in like a basketball arena, it's a weird team. You see treadmills, etc. But you thought. Yeah, you, you can see where he's standing. You can't get up to him, so it's like, well, it's kind of pointless. I'll so leave it. I swear it just popped up charge finish for Jericho. Which well, yeah. I don't know what that'd be. Did he run, run well, at the code breaker? Yeah. It was miles away from him. Oh, right, right, right. And So we're coming here. This is another office. Yeah, but that one where they miss it with the code breaker yeah, skips. T-Rex uh, skull on the wall. Yeah, yeah which you just bounce off. Yeah. And then I say, try and do an oh my god on that the table, like, yeah, marble yeah. table. I started getting really frustrated in this room, actually. I'm going to lie. <laughs> it was just you bounced off everything, didn't you? Yeah. There was no animation for it. Like, Putting yeah. it on the table. So, oh yeah, cool. Maybe we should have tried the couch. Maybe I don't. Know. We did. We, I threw um, you onto. I tried to throw you at the skull, and you bounced onto the couch. And then I'm like, oh, whose office is this? Like this. Oh yeah. Right into the plan. Yeah. And I was like, whose office is it? It's only Vince's. <laughs> and then I think you leave. Yeah, I was like, uh, oh no, do we try the table? I tried the T-Rex skull again. I was desperate to use the T-Rex skull. Thought, what's it gonna do? You saw your painting though. Who are transfixed on this? I wanted it to be an actual T Rex skull. <laughs> this is it. I'm like, right, bye. <laughs> and then we try the green screen. And we realised we could actually probably use that if we needed to. <laughs> but you can actually do it in the game when you go highlight reel now. You can actually set it to a uh, green screen so you can create your own videos properly with moves in. <laughs> There's the taunt again. Again, again, again. And then at this time, I think we uh, realised that that's it. We've worn it all out. Yeah, so we sort of try and head back to the ring now. Yeah, with the awkward running stamina. <laughs> all the way. Jerry calls that cardio game. It does. Mm -hmm. Started getting panicky now because he kept catching up with me. Shane's chasing him on Jason Voorhees. 
Yeah, I'll have to check out if anyone's worked out any other uh, situations you can get backstage with everything we saw, like the catering table, etc, etc. You can probably go into them TVs there, which are hanging down. Yeah. Oh, no, well, they're on a little pin. Well, that's a pin. Oh, I decided, oh, you is he going to pin it? Does it actually work yeah. backstage? And then finally the referee pops up. You don't even go for your resiliency because it's two out three. And you missed that. <laughs> what a punch. A cheeky slap. I just get annoyed <laughs> going for the wall. Oh, this is a close up of the head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Dazzling. And I think this brings it to one all. I just try you and You cheese trap, and I don't even move, and you end up taking yourself out. <laughs> so now we make our way properly to uh, the ring area. Look at Jericho there. I'm desperate to get backstage so I can get my last pinfall. There we go. Backstage again. And at this point, we're like, just get back to the ring. Oh, we do see the greatest Irish whip of all time. We, oh, God, I forgot that. Yeah. He was like, more Farrah at this point, shaming yeah. man. He just never stopped running. We were like, all right, let's take it back to the ring. Yeah, I'll just whip you back to the uh, yeah. entrance ramp. I'll throw you back. It's like, Shane goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, he keeps going. And, and then we, uh, we sort of converge. The slowest race in history. It looks like Jericho's doing the moonwalk there. He is. Mm. Then you get me just by the ring, I believe. Well, you kinda. Into the post. And Shane takes his place back in the ring. Referee just checking on Jericho. And there's ever. The Falls Count Anywhere match will end in the ring. It will. It will. <laughs> it will. So Smackdown. Oh, this is the new Smackdown Arena, by the way. That's. Uh, Whole lighting. You can go back to the 2016 one if you want as well. That one again. Is this another coast to coast? Yeah. It, it very well is. The little stomps are unnecessary. It's to make to stay there. He sets him up nicely. Make sure he's comfy. Referee blocked half of it. He does. My middle at ring. Awkward spot. And is this Shane taking the 2 1 lead? Oh. And getting the victory over Chris Jericho, I forgot myself, you know. I believe it is. Thought the game crashed there as well. So did I. I don't know, that might be the capture software though. That we didn't have one crash, did we? When we played. No, we didn't actually. I saw some people did, but we, <laughs> ours were fine. Which is surprising. Well, no, I saw one person. I think there was only one who had a crash. Oh yeah, I forgot you did this. Yeah, and that person was then uh, kicked out and asked never to be... Uh, Playing WWE ever again. It was. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Oh, he had a second finisher. Yeah. Yeah, this were it. We'll try to work out what it was, and then this popped up like, oh no. Yeah. And then we tried not to win, like, end it of this. But naturally, when we try and do some, uh, it goes wrong. <laughs> Shane picked up the victory. It was basically just an exploration of backstage, that match. But it's not necessarily the finishing touch to the match. There is another element to this match. Maybe. It's a nice animation that, I'm really glad they've changed that. I always used to get on my nerves when it used to just catch a, a tiny bit in the corner. Yeah, Shane might get a bit more use this series. Wow, were they two highlights? It's because it cuts all the backstage stuff for some reason. Right, okay. But he did that in this year's game. So yeah, Shane's oh now God, the, the uh, face. United Kingdom champion. Oh God, I forgot about that title. And we, we just were, wanted to see the championship. And then we were all. like, you know what, let's break out. Get rid of that championship. Well, you said there might be new animation for the table. Yeah. And at this point, I was curious. So this takes longer the breakout, I believe it did. Cause I think it's because it was mid-animation with a celebration. We actually lost Jericho for a second. We couldn't remember where he was. So yeah, we just thought we'd just test the table out while we were at this situation. Especially with Shane. We know he has some crazy moves. And this is where we realise you can drag forever if the other person doesn't tap the circle. Yeah. Well, in this instant, you can't, because you know, after you break out, you can't do anything. The circle thing doesn't even pop up. True, true, true. So as long as you've got the stamina bar to pull it off, I think you're fine. Yes, it's definitely a stamina system. Yeah, because it's going down slowly, isn't it? No, it's not, actually. Oh, is it not, not for this one? There is stamina there, so... All hmm, right, there you interesting. go. Interesting. Infinite drag if you want it. I thought we'd missed it then. So this is what we wanted, the uh, classic Shane elbow from the top rope through we the table. We get a right shot at the end. 
Oh, shit. we do. It is course, a right yeah. shot. <laughs> Referee makes it even more difficult, having to jump over him as well, just to make the shot looks even more epic. Get there ready for this. Prepare yourselves. Corey Graves will have nightmares. So there's a new crowd animation. Build up. And there we go. 